Chinese here. Welcome to another channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, in this video, guys, I'm going to be walking through three exact products from AliExpress that made me over $50,000 each. Um, now, to actually clear up that, you know, $50,000, he's just saying that pay. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to screen share some stuff with you guys right now to actually show you guys some numbers so that you can actually get an idea of like, oh, he's actually making money. He's not just talking out of his ass. So. That's what I'm gonna do first, and then I'm literally just like, I have the three tabs open of just the products, I'm just gonna like show you guys them, and then maybe kind of just walk to you like how you can kind of uh, leverage those products to actually increase your profit margins, your you know your order value, all that fun stuff. So uh, let's jump into it, and I'm gonna just screen share real quick. All right guys, so we are on the screen share thing now. I'm tiny on your screen now, and uh, what I want to show you guys, okay, so this one store, right? $141,497 in sales. Hey. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know, you guys can see, hey, we had 235,000 visitors. You guys can look at the chart graph. Like, I don't know, so I, I showed you know results in like more videos before, um, if you're new, right? And people are like, oh, you know, you can edit the code and whatnot, but um, I'm literally doing, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm walking you through the graph. Um, I just refresh the site, and wait for it to load up. Um, but, let's see, hold up, there we go. Doo -doo -doo. This one's, this one's, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that's that's one thing. Um, here's some more stuff on Stripe, like for example, um, this one, you know, product company um, for this last month, 26,000. Uh, let me open up another Stripe for you guys. I'm just trying to show you guys that, hey, it's possible at, you know, a young age, at any age, right, I'm 20. Um, this one for the first week, um, this is actually pretty new, but this is 7,700 um, for, for week one, right? So guys, there's there's a lot of ways you can go about making money online, and I want to show you guys that it's, it's, it's possible to pull these pull these numbers, right? But yeah, so th that's, that's, you know, just like proof, I guess, that, hey, you know, you can actually make money. There is a lot of money in these in these products um, that I'm showing you guys, right? Because these, these actual sites that I just showed you guys, they're, they're in the same industry, right? I'm not going to give you guys the exact product, like, I mean, Right? There's just like, come on, I'm not gonna show you the exact, but I'm gonna show you guys these products I, I, I have sold before, okay? And have made that much money with these products, okay? It's just me personally, like, I move from thing to thing to thing. I do a lot of software, a lot of other stuff besides dropshipping as well, but I teach dropshipping primarily, so that's what we're doing in this video, right? So, product number one. Anchor bracelets, right? If you watched my last video, if you watched a lot of my videos, I talk about fashion industry, and I say I made a lot of money selling bracelets as well, right? Anchor bracelets in specific sold really, really well for me, okay? I'm not gonna say that they're as trendy as they were maybe a year ago, but there's still a lot of money in the industry, okay? Now, what I wanna point out to you guys, right, if you haven't seen my last video, is look at the price differences between some of these brands, right? $2 for this one over here, okay? So, how you position your brand, especially when you drop ship, guys, because, again, a lot of these anchor bracelets, for example, if you go on AliExpress and find these anchor bracelets, you're gonna find them dirt cheap, literally $2, $3 a pop, with the e-packet, with all that kind of shipping that you're plugging in, Five dollars could you know you're looking at five dollars for your total cost of goods, right? Now, how you can position your brand, right? You could position it as like an affordable luxury um, brand or like you know affordable luxury, right? So it's like a cheaper, cheap, cheaper end things, right? You can offer big discounts, you can offer big incentives to get data, all that kind of stuff, and maybe you're selling these bases for you know seven ninety nine, something like that, nine ninety nine, right? You don't want to push it above ten probably if you're gonna go cheaper, but again, that that that's one position, right? Me personally, I position more as like luxury more luxury okay i'm not saying like very high like nowhere near 900 like no but we were charging anywhere from again like some of our bracelets these weren't anchor bracelets but we were charging 12.99 but with anchor bracelets we could charge 19.99 okay 21.99 okay it's just how we position our brand right and how how do you actually like how do you convince someone that this bracelet is worth 21.99 to them versus 2.99 online right again one Content content is so important you guys you don't oh my gosh some people just don't grasp it Yeah, I always talk about it in every single video, but content guys is so important. Okay unique content Okay taking your own photos working with photographers that do their own photos like all that kind of stuff You need your own content. Okay, that's how you position yourself You look more luxury you look more classy if that's what you're going for You look more unique and you're not using these wholesale supplier images Okay, where you're not ripping images offline that are all pixelated and stuff like that You're actually using your own stuff it makes your website aesthetic look really good because now you have your own image to use for your website and makes your own you know Instagram Facebook whatever you're posting your photos to primarily Instagram if you're following my funnels that we teach down in the ecom hub link in description um, free mini courses always plug but um, content guys it's like one improves your website aesthetic improves your social like aesthetic right and then three you can use those images for ads for shadows for paid marketing like all that kind of stuff to drive traffic because imagery guys it, it peaks like human psychology it, like it 
makes them curious, okay? Especially if it's really good, okay? And when you're using, you know, Instagram shoutouts, for example, right? You use a picture to get to, uh, to, to like, you, you give the influencer a picture for your shout out, okay? That picture needs to draw attention, needs to capture them, needs to evoke some sort of emotion, needs to get them curious about, like, oh, this is cool, or what is it, right? Then they look at the caption, right? So the picture is supposed to be so good that it stops them from scrolling down their feed, looking at it, and then looking at your caption, right? And the caption job is supposed to send them to your Instagram business profile page, multiple call to actions, all that kind of stuff, and then eventually your business profile page, right? Because you're posting that unique content that you're taking, yeah, yeah. Then that sends them over to your website, and then your website, you know, you, it has the same aesthetic flow, you still have that good content there. Of course, you have all these other webs, apps, widgets, all that kind of stuff, but then it converts them, right? Like the ultimate goal is to convert them from having this unique content, from positioning your brand more authoritatively, more luxury, whatever you want to do. Because of that, guys, you can make a lot more money just because your brand looks more luxury, okay? It's the reason why Gucci can charge, you know, $500 for this ring versus like Forever 21 or something charging, you know, like $10 for a ring, right? Um, Obviously, there's difference in material, blah, 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 but like, that, like, do you guys get it? What I mean, like, it's how you position your brand, it's how you make your brand look to people. Everything is perspective, okay? So, you like, you, they don't know necessarily that this anchor bracelet or whatever costs you two dollars, okay? You just have to convince them that it's worth 22 to them, that it looks 22 dollars to them, okay? That's what I'm kind of saying, okay? So, that's product number one. I know it took a long time, but I want you guys like to grasp, like, oh. You know, these are different products, but you can throw different price tags on them and play around with them and like it's all about how you position yourself, okay? Now, number two, I did phone cases for a bit too. I still actually do some phone cases, but for example, this was a marble um, iPhone case that I did. Um, not this exact one, right? But it's like, I just, I sold marble iPhone case skins, basically. And that's also a product that did really, really well. And this was for like, um, again, it's like, it's kind of fashion, if you guys know what I mean. Like it's, it looks good. People like wear it on, on their devices, stuff like that. Um, and it's nice, like again, what I did a lot, I, I didn't do too much apparel, I did more fashion accessories, right? So that was kind of my realm that I did a lot of stuff in. I did a little bit of apparel, but not too much, just because sizing and stuff is really weird going from, you know, China to, to the United States and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, Marvel phone case did really, really well for me. And then the third product is dad caps, okay? Like hats, literally like hats that I'm wearing right now, okay? Um, stuff like that, and again, like with this stuff, you can, you can price it however you want. Again, if we go back to this Marvel phone case, right? This one was six ninety eight here, okay. While the one right over here on the right is twenty bucks, okay. It's all about how you position your brand, okay. That 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 might be the reason you're only making you know five hundred a day versus a thousand five hundred a day, right? Because again, it, that, that's just just a three x markup, right? So pretend pretend this marble phone case you were only selling it for seven dollars, right? But you you know you multiplied it by three, saying you were selling it for twenty dollars, twenty one dollars, right? Because three x. Now you're five hundred dollars could have potentially been 1,500, right? If you, if you branded it, right, right? If, if your customers actually felt that it was worth that much extra, right? Because again, they might not know the cost of the other products like that are like selling for the same, or they might know the cost, right? And now it's just how you make them feel, right? It's an emotion, okay? Buying and stuff like that, it's an emotion. You want them to trust you. There's a bunch of different factors that play into that, guys. But again, you can charge whatever you want, okay? You could charge $500 for this, and if you can convince someone that it's worth $500 to them, all right, then they'll buy it, guys. Okay, and that's it. And then again, guys, the dad caps, um, another product that I sold that did really, really well. But I'm just trying to help you guys out, especially like the new people that are just trying to get started, or just like people that haven't had luck with whatever they're selling. Right? Like these are potential items for you guys to literally go on AliExpress right now with the overload Chrome extension and just add, 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 and then edit, and then order it, um, and get your unique content, right, and then start promoting the crap out of it, okay, guys? So, that's the super quick video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, like, it's, it's possible to make a lot of money online, guys, and, like, through a bunch of different, like, revenue streams, okay? Um, so that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment. I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm doing a video a day. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm showing, you know, results. A lot of drop shipping stuff, gonna be branching off to affiliate marketing, a little bit of Amazon, um, and a lot of lifestyle stuff too, but and that's the gist of it, guys. Don't forget to check out the Ecom Hub. It's like my personal platform that I built. We offer like, there's, there's literally a bunch of free mini courses down below. You don't, no credit card, no nothing, okay? You go down there and I have free videos that aren't on my YouTube channel that basically could, like help you guys out with some of these like things that I touch on and mention like the funnels and everything else. Um, just to help you guys out, right? And I mean, there's, there's the paid course. Don't forget to check that out because you know, always plug. But, I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.